G'day guys, and welcome back to Lost Story Coverage. Today I've got an absolute awesome hunt lined up for you. We had four millimeters of rain last night, a crazy thunderstorm that torn through Sydney. Trees are falling down, the ocean has been churning up all night long. I can't wait to get out there and see what kind of treasures have been revealed by the ocean behind us. Let's gear up and get out there. I'll see you in the water, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Check this out guys, I got sea slugs in my front yard again. And look, they're eating my grass. Cheeky little guy. Hey, why don't you go next door? That's it, move it along buddy.
The ocean is full of tasty treats like that flathead earlier. I'm not too sure about the sea slug, but have a look closely. What am I going to catch? Can you see it? Gotcha. All right, we've got lunch. What is it? It's a prawn. It's only a little fella. Oh, there goes my lunch, guys. Name this animal. What animal in the ocean loves eating crabs, has tentacles, and squirts black ink in defense? Quick guess, guys. That's right, Mr. Octopus, or I like to call him Calamari. I feel like I'm in that awesome movie, Avatar. Check this out. Wow, that's cool. I am back from the hunt, guys, and it was absolutely awesome out there today. Although the water was a bit chilly, I had to hop out after two hours. Our best find today will have to be this massive ring. Check that out. That is absolutely weighty. And when I first seen it, I was hoping, I was really hoping, yet it looked like it, definitely silver. Looking closely, I cannot see. There's absolutely no engravings on the inside of this ring. And you look closely as well, you can actually see it's starting to peel away. Where's the gold? <laughs> no, it's only a bling ring. I couldn't believe it. I really thought that we had something special out there today, guys. I really did. Our next best find, this beautiful diamond ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's not dying at all. This is a massive teaser guys. When I seen that under the water, I just see the glimmer. I just thought, yeah, we're onto something special. But I seen the black tarnish, I think, okay. Could be silver. I'm looking at it closely. Unfortunately, again, no markings. So that is two bling rings for today. The best find of the day. This is an Australian 1952 penny. A lot of people are saying, why is it so special? To me, this indicates the area that I was hunting. I've hunted this area many times before. And still, to be pulling out a 1952 penny tells me one thing. There could be gold still in this location from 1952, even earlier. There's been people swimming out there behind me for over 100 years, guys. Trust me, there's gold out there. There's over $70 billion worth of lost treasure out there in our ocean behind us, guys. There's too much treasure out there. I need you guys to give me a hand. And that's what keeps me going, never knowing what I'm going to dig next time I'm out there in the ocean. I'm always onto something, and that's what I love, guys, and the fact that 
that I never know what I'm going to be digging is an awesome adrenaline rush, guys. I absolutely love it. I love this hobby. I uh, love returning lost jewelry to rightful owners. Unfortunately, guys, we weren't on the gold today. Maybe next week. We found over $10 in cash today. That's pretty good considering I was only out there for two, two and a half hours and then it got real cold. We had only four trash targets today. That's absolutely awesome. We had more good targets to trash targets and all you metal detectorists out there know that's a bloody good hunt. That's it for today, guys. Jump onto our Patreon page. Free content for everyone to enjoy. Pledge and become an official sponsor of our channel. And you'll have your name in all our video end credits. Share, like, subscribe. Who knows where we're going to be next week. And I'll see you all on the next hunt. Happy hunting, guys. Cheers. <laughs>